Fire Star, and today I'm going to show you how to mix gas for a two-stroke engine. There are a number of things that I don't like to do, but if Cody is gone, I have to do them. And so one of them is I was just going to go and use the leaf blower, and it is out of gas. And we are also out of mix, which um, for two-stroke engines, they are the ones that, that are very noisy. <laughs> And they are the lightweight things. So your weed whacker, your leaf blower, a chainsaw. They have to have a combination of gasoline and oil mixed together in the same compartment because the oil goes with the gas to lubricate the machine. A four-stroke engine, the gas and oil are separate. So that's your car, usually your lawnmower. And so you don't have to do a gasoline-oil mix um, in your gasoline. So I do have to make this mix now for my leaf blower. So and when you need to go ahead and mix the oil and gasoline together. The simplest way to do it is to take a one gallon gas container and high performance makes one gallon and just go ahead and mix the gas with this size. However, if you don't happen to have this size, then you're going to need to measure out the correct amount of oil. And you can do that using a ratio right. Um, have your husband, boyfriend, whoever, or go get one yourself, ladies. Along um, across the top, it, you will go to how many gallons you want to make. So I have a one and a half gallon container. So it, it go to one and a half gallons. And then down the scale, it will give you the different ratios. So on it, it will say 50 to 1. Um, right here. 50 to 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put that much oil in and mix with my gas. Sure, one and a half, 50, oops. So once you have it measured to your 50 to 1, 1 1.5 gallons, 50 to 1 ratio, go ahead and pour it into the container. The best thing to do is to put the oil in first and then the gas, however I didn't do it this time. So I will show you how to mix it. is just go ahead and pour the gasoline into the container because you want to make sure that it's mixed well and throughout. You do that about three times and then shake the canister pretty well before you pour it into your leaf blower or chainsaw or whatever you're using. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this is mixed up well enough. And now I have to go work. heavy-duty food blender here and so you 